Tensions flare in Huntersville after town commissioners say the details of an approved residential development are not what they voted on. So it all centers around the North State development that will go behind the Discovery Place Kids building on Gilead Road. And in Queen City News, Northeast Bureau Chief City Heiberger is in live now in downtown Huntersville. So City, just kind of fill us in on exactly what's going on. Yeah, Alicia, this is a big project. What was approved back in January of 2021 was more than 130 apartments, more than 40 townhomes, and 12,000 square feet of commercial space. Well, now we're learning that the final approved plans that were approved just a few months ago include much less commercial space than that. The problem here is town commissioners said they were never made aware of these changes and the confusion all lies in the semantics. This project has been um, a huge controversy from the very beginning. The North State multi-use development project is the same venture that sparked the Save Downtown Huntersville movement early last year. A group that has been fighting for more commercial development downtown rather than residential. There will be plenty of apartments coming but without the retail commercial, we're not going to get the revitalization that we want. We're just going to get a bunch of traffic. When the previous Huntersville Town Board approved the residential project in January 2021, they specifically voted on including 12,000 square feet of commercial space on the ground floor. But the final plan for development approved in August of this year cuts that commercial space down significantly to 7,500 square feet. From where I sit, I would have voted no. But I voted for 12,000 square feet of commercial space. Town planners say the confusion stemmed from the motion itself, though commissioners specifically stated they wanted 12,000 square feet of commercial space. They also approved the rezoning plan that refers to said space as non-residential. The developers use that term non-residential to transform some of the supposed retail space into things like maintenance and electrical rooms. I think that this was a significant change. I think that there should have been another public hearing about it. I think that there should have been another vote. The town says they only consulted the one former commissioner who made the motion and the town's planning board rather than bringing the changes back to the entire commission. Now they say they'll use this as a lesson learned. This is just, it's, it's just such a big project that will change the face of downtown Huntersville. For us, it's just not acceptable to say, oh, well, we learned a lesson. We did reach out to the developers of the North State project, their North State LLC, and unfortunately, we did not get a response. I'm live in downtown Huntersville, Sydney Heiberger. Queen City News. All right, Sydney, thank you.